Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. So it's been a full week of seeing patients and I need to share with you a couple of really crazy, amazing stories. It's so disgusting. It's awesome at the same time because people are getting better. So here's my first story. I have uh, a guy, he's been seeing me actually once a month for about 10 years. And there's always been something stuck in his head, like a bug. And um, I've tried a lot of different supplements and his diet's always been really good. And about two years ago, it started to crawl down, like spread into his arm, down his arm, in his armpit. And he was having constant fever and he had to see MDs and they were putting him on drugs. And it was kind of scary, actually. And at the time, I found Nanobac TX, which is a supplement that, well, it detoxifies really well. It's designed for um, getting rid of calcium plaquing in the arteries. But he started that at a very low dose. And over the course of a year and, and more, he got significantly better. It's very nice, quite a relief for him to get better with that. But the point is there was something here, always had chronic sinus problems, always had um, eye issues, pain on the right side of the head. It's like, what's in there? Like one inch in or three inches in, there's something in there. And at the time, you know, two years ago, it spread. So... This supplement came out, I may have talked about this in an earlier video, Pair 3 from, from Cellcore Biosciences. And uh, what this does, it gets deep into the tissues, into the brain, into the joints, into the sinuses, and it kills organisms. So there's people that have taken this and now their hands hurt, and then later their arthritis is gone. Or I've had personally uh, a couple patients where they blew their nose and a parasite comes out because of this. And that's exactly what happened to this guy I'm telling you about. He blew his nose and out comes a quarter inch parasite. And that was one month after, about three weeks after starting this, two months ago. And then I saw him again this week. And another interesting thing is happening. He's getting stuff coming out of his eyelid. So it's coming from deep within his skull. And it's coming out on the left side. And you can see the bump. And he's had these mucus balls come out where the eyelashes come out of the upper eyelid. And there's more coming. And it's really gross and it's fantastic at the same time. <laughs> so that's pair three. This is amazing stuff. You know, I've been in practice dealing with nutritional supplements since 1997. I started studying them in 1994. And these products from Cellcore are just blowing me away. And I've been through, I've been through it all. I've been to all the seminars I've studied all the herbs and all the supplements and para is really um cell core and their para three product they really got something going with that i got another patient she's been dealing with parasites too so two years ago she started on some supplements and she started eliminating parasites every day i started seeing her about three months ago and just every day consistently with no improvement so um i did the muscle testing procedures that i that I do, and I found a new nest of parasites in her colon, and I put her on new supplements. And the next week she came back and she said, I'm getting new, different, sort of weird looking parasites coming out. Now, the parasites I found were actually trematodes. So we Googled trematodes, clicked on image, and up pops this. Do it. If you do it, the very first image that pops up is black and white, almost hand drawn pictures of different temp trematodes and she points yeah that one that one that one and that one those are the parasites that are coming out now so that's improvement and um, another situation she had was a pain right here and it's almost like well are there more parasites there or what so i started testing her doing the muscle testing procedure that i do and i found the need for a supplement that's unrelated to parasites it's unrelated to the immune system and what it does is it's um an astringent for the liver. It cleans the liver. It also tightens up veins. It's really good for spider veins, hemorrhoids, varicose veins. It's called colonsonia root. This is it right here. So it's the plant is called colonsonia, and this is the root uh, dried up, put into a capsule. And then the next time, next week, she came back and she said, um, she said, let's see. I finally have relief after two years. So we got good results with the new parasite 
approach the week before, but it's the Cohen Sony route that really helped her out significantly with her major concern being this pain right here. So that's a really cool story. But anyways, talking about parasites, I have more people eliminating parasites now than ever in my career. And I really figured out parasites quite well back in 07. And at the time I had lots of people all at once eliminating parasites. People were bringing them into jars. I told the story before, but they brought them in baggies and they took pictures and they brought them to me. Well, this one person brought in a jar, a big mason jar filled with parasites and it had come out of her son. And I called up University of Michigan Hospital. They had got their uh, infectious disease department. And I said, hey, I got this jar of parasites. Can I bring it over so you can identify what they are? And they said, no, because you're a chiropractor. It's like, okay, a little bit of professional discrimination, I guess you could call it in the age of everybody being a victim and being discriminated upon. But whatever, that's that's their issue. And I asked, well, how many parasites do you get rid of? Or do you add, how many parasites do you identify on a regular basis? Let's say each week. And he said, oh, maybe a few hundred. And I was like, wow, that's a lot for the city of Ann Arbor or southeastern Michigan. That, that's great. I believe it. He goes, no, no, it's not just that. It's all of Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, in Kentucky. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you only identify a few hundred pairs. No, it should be in the thousands. But the point is like in medicine, the whole parasite issue is completely ignored and it shouldn't be at all. Okay. Um, now I had a new patient this week and I found parasites doing the muscle testing and I gave her a, a heads up. Like you might see stuff coming out. That's weird. And I described some of the things and I showed her some pictures and I just said, keep your eyes out. If you don't see anything, great, that's fine. But you'll get cleaned out with this stuff. And she goes, what do I do? Take pictures? Should I bring them in a jar? And I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm done with that. I've, I made a policy in 2007. Don't bring them in. <laughs> so, um, all right. Um, so I just want to tell you that I was accepted to speak at the Carnivore Conference in May in Boulder. And uh, you can Google that and find out if you want to go to that. So um, I'm back on the speaking circuit. I used to be a speaker. I did for eight years. I did about 75 weekend seminars. I taught chiropractors and other natural healthcare pro professionals about muscle testing and nutrition. And uh, and then that um, then that ended. That relationship with the business I was working for ended. At the same time, I had mold in the office. That's when I found it. So that mold set everything back about three years now. And uh, that's all getting cleaned up. Of course, I've been in this new office for a year and a half. And there's more coming. I got more information regarding the whole mold situation, but that's for later. I got some new developments with that. But the point is, I'm able to get back on the speaking circuit. So I'll be at the Convert Conference. I got a 30-minute slot. And then um, in two months, I'll be at the uh, Low Carb Denver. I'm not a speaker at Low Carb Denver. But it's the biggest low carb event and it's fantastic, right? I think there was 800 people last time. So just letting you know that it, it exists and you can check it out. Maybe you want to go. Okay, last thing I want to talk about. I got this GoPro. I just got it in the mail yesterday. It's so small. It's a GoPro 8. And my idea is to have this in the room with patients. So like I'll have an assistant holding this and recording it. It's not big and bulky and intrusive like a phone might be or a, a big camera. So it's tiny. And then uh, we can pick up um, how the visit goes and edit it down. And then we can do the next visit and the next visit. And over the course of a few weeks or a couple of months, you can see the you can see the progression of how somebody gets better from their chronic illness and, um, and their results and what they do, their diet, their supplements, um, how they feel, their challenges, and their successes. It'll be kind of like grand rounds, right? They do that at hospitals and they take people, they take the young doctors through to see the patients and the, and the patients are giving drugs and surgery, whereas I am doing supplements and diet. So it's the anti-grand grand rounds. It's actually the way that it should be, grand rounds. Maybe that's what I'll call it. I'm going to write that down. The way it should be. <laughs> grand rounds. Okay. 
But um, so I got this plan and, I, and I'll put some on YouTube for everybody to see. But to be honest, I'm really exposing myself to this, the scientists, you know what I mean? Those kind of people and the angry vegans, right? They just, they go after everybody. But um, it's it's kind of intimate to be like in the room with me and the patient and to hear what everybody's saying. So, of course, I'll have the patient's permission and some will say no and some will say yes. And I think it's really exciting. It's just an idea I had in the last week. And, you know, I took the, the steps, uh, you know, I took this step to buy this one little tiny camera, you know, and, and I'm going to try to make this work out and make it go right. So there's my update. I want to share that with you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer any questions. I just want to make this short, quick video and uh, I'll keep putting out some content on the YouTube. And um, I got some really cool things coming up too. I'm going to, I'm going to end off right here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.